Make sure to subscribe to the Olive Board channel and also click the bell icon to never miss another video from us. Hey guys, in today's video, we will be looking at some number problems and we will see some tricks that we can use to simplify those quicker. So let's start. So before we begin, let's just let us uh, look at a few things on uh, number problems. Okay, so first of all, they look hard, but they are not actually hard. Uh, if you have already, if you have seen number questions or simplification problems, then sometimes they appear to be very, very difficult and looking at those questions, you might feel nervous. But in this uh, video, we will look at how we can solve even big uh, questions easily. So uh, let us, uh, we shall do that shortly. And in any case, you have to remember the formula, okay? And by formula, I mean those formulas, those uh, five, six, uh, six, seven formulas that you have here, okay? So there's there's no direct solution. What do we mean by direct solution? Direct solution means you cannot just simply multiply, okay? If it if it tells you to multiply, say, uh, eighty-nine thousand seven hundred and thirty-six square then you cannot just do the square directly i mean you can do that but uh, you will lose a lot of uh, time and your answer might be wrong so pe hum galti kar dete. this is where we make the mistake that uh, hum log directly hum, we try to solve the question i mean obviously if you practice then you might not but what happens in the exam is you get confused and you get nervous so ho sakta hai. anyway so before we begin, I have I have put all the important for all the important formula here. Okay, so make sure that you learn all of them, all of those very very well. And if I ask you any of these formulas, you should be able to answer them uh, quickly, okay, and accurately. So please ensure you learn all of them. And the reason I put all those formula here is because um, when we are solving the problems, these are the ones that we will have to remember. Okay, and we will see that shortly okay guys so let us look at a simple question all right uh, and this is the kind of question you can expect in your examination it might look simple right now if you have practiced but in the exam you will get nervous you'll get confused so please pay attention simplify 9 into triple 7 into triple 6 this is the numerator okay this is our numerator now in the numerator numerator you have uh, a an inner bracket and in that you have triple seven into triple six outside you have nine simple take care so is kini check ya hai gamara is kini check ya denominator all right so then in the in the denominator you have triple seven plus triple six the whole square one minus okay please pay attention to the signs in the exam you will make mistakes if you look at the signs I mean, if you if you mistake the make a mistake in the signs, triple seven plus triple six the whole square minus triple seven minus triple six the whole square. So you have two squares here. Okay. Look at this question for a bit, guys, and 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 see if you can and if and, and if you can figure the way to solve the answer. Okay. All right. So let us proceed and see how we can solve it. Firstly. Assume that triple seven is A and triple six is B. Why we do this? Because we want to simplify the whole equation, the, the whole mathematical equation that we have. We want to make it simpler. That is the only reason we do this. And once you do this, what will your equation be? Nine A B nine A B numerator divided by bracket open A plus b okay a plus b the whole square minus a minus b the whole square is equal to we don't know what it is we have to find out okay so this is what we have right now in front of us and we have to solve it okay so how can you solve it I'll tell you right now itself, it's very simple. A plus B the whole square minus A minus B the whole square. Inside the bracket, write whatever is A plus B the whole square. A square plus 2AB plus B square. Bracket close. Minus sign. Bracket open. A minus B the whole square. What is the answer? What is the formula? A square minus 2AB plus B square. Then you open the bracket. 
okay everything will get cancelled except for ab 4 ab will be the answer you cancel ab and 9 by 4 it is 2.25 okay let us let us just look at it step by step if i am going too fast 9 into ab okay no no confusion here all good 9 ab 9 ab divided by because numerator and this is the denominator a plus b the whole square a plus b the whole square okay no doubt about this minus a minus b square no doubt about this also also correct okay is equal to 9 ab here as well why 9 ab because nothing changed okay no doubt now here is where you have to pay attention guys a plus b the whole square is a square plus 2 ab plus b square so this is exactly what we have done we have expanded the a plus b formula minus now what is a minus b the whole square guys what is the expanded form of this it is a square minus 2 ab okay minus 2 ab plus b square correct but here what do we have here we have minus a square plus 2 ab and minus b square sir how are the signs different sir your formula is wrong no sir the formula is not wrong if you see here if you see here there is a minus sign there is a minus sign so whenever outside the bracket you have a minus sign inside all the sign all the signs will change a square will become minus a square minus 2ab will become plus 2ab and plus b square will become minus b square okay so now you can do the elimination cutting shutting jo bhi usko aap bolte ho whatever you call it you can do it right now a square and minus a square cut cut eliminated b square and minus b square cut cut what remains 9ab 9ab divided by 2ab plus 2ab what is the answer 4ab now again you can cut here ab ab cancel 9 by 4 answer is 2.25 okay so the answer is option b 2.25 Let us look at another question. Compute 978 into 978 is equal to what? What is it? Okay. So now here, if you just understood the question we solved, you you know that we cannot add or subtract or multiply or divide directly. Okay. We can do that, but that is not the efficient way to do it. So for those who already know how to solve this question, please start. And for those who would like to just review, let us go step by step. Recall that nine nine seventy eight is one thousand minus twenty two, right? And so nine seventy eight into nine seventy eight is one thousand minus twenty two the whole square, right? Because nine nine seventy eight is what this. So this square equal to this square, same thing, okay? So nine seventy eight into nine seventy eight is equal to one thousand minus twenty two the whole square. And here. what are we doing we are coming to this formula a minus b the whole square this is a and this is b okay this looks like d sorry about that uh, it, it's actually a and this is b okay so a minus b the whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square so 1000 is a as i just said 22 is b we substitute 1000 minus 22 the whole square is equal to 1000 into 1000 is how much it is 1 million or 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 10 lakh whatever you call it into sorry minus 2ab a is what 1000 and b is what 22 so this is again 22 into 2 is 44 44 into 1000 is 44000 plus 22 square which is 484 you must know the first 25 numbers squares if you can it is very very good if not please work on it and so the final answer is Now, one million minus forty-four thousand is nine fifty-six thousand plus four eighty-four. The answer is nine fifty-six four eighty-four. So, are we clear? Okay. The third kind of question is a bit simpler, but nevertheless, it is important because uh, if you underestimate something easy, that will become very difficult, and you, when we all know that, sum of two numbers is thirty, and the product is thirty-sixty-six. compute the sum of the reciprocal of those numbers so let the numbers be x and y so x plus y is 30 why because we said that 
there their sum is 30 and let that product is 66 so x into y is 66 reciprocals of x and y are 1 by x 1 by y of course reciprocal means you are replacing the numerator and the denominator right with each other you are exchanging the numerator and the denominator so some of the reciprocals 1 plus x by 1 plus y you will multiply this x into y and numerator will be into y 1 into y is y 1 into x is x so x plus y divided by x by y sorry x plus y divided by x into y x plus y is 30 x by y uh, x multiplied by y is 66 and you can cancel both of those numbers with 6 6 into 5 is 30 and 6 into 11 is 66 okay that's it so the last type of problem the type 4 is a bit uh, like like the first problem it is a bit lengthy but it doesn't make any difference if you know the answer or if you know how to solve it compute 25 225 into 225 into 225 minus 136 into 136 into 136 the whole bracket close that is a numerator divided by 225 into 225 plus 225 into 136 plus 136 into 136 so guys one simple advice to you whenever you have something like this always write it in terms of a and b or x and y or, or c and d or any alphabet you take and you just put it okay okay so you start by doing that so let us see how we can solve it step by step consider 225 as a 136 as b and guys please use this uh, method for any kind of question that you get as long as th the question is like this where a lot of multiplication or division is needed this method will be helpful in simplifying the equation so now we have the equation which is a into a into a minus b into b into b uh, this th this thing is uh, right here okay and this thing is right here okay divided by a into a that is a square okay and a into b okay which is uh, this one a plus b so a into b here you have it here okay and plus b into b this is b into b okay so here you go and this is our new equation so you have a cube minus b cube okay yeah because a into a into a is a cube minus b into b into b is b cube divided by a square plus a b plus b square now if you can recall a cube minus b cube can be expanded into something so what is that something let's see a cube minus b cube can be expanded into a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square remember right so what do we do now we expand a cube minus b cube answer is a cube minus b cube into a square plus a b plus b square in the numerator divided by a square plus a b plus b square in the denominator and as you know when everything is common between the numerator and the denominator you can cancel the whole thing so your equation will become now a minus b only only this part will come here a minus b is equal to what is a 225 what is b 136 225 minus 136 is 89 that's it not very hard is it now it is not hard is it does it look hard yes it looks hard but believe me guys you just practice like this okay you follow all those all those steps and in the exam you will you will be laughing or you'll be smiling when you see questions like this because you know how to solve it you, you are not even multiplying much right here here what did we multiply guys you tell me that first we just we just took the formulas right right we took the formula here 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 numerator numerator and, and denominator mein ne formula laga diya. Our answer is cut cut we common common we have just one time subtract kiya. that's it we got the answer okay so please guys please practice these are i would say these are tricks because may, maybe this is the actual way to solve the question there are other ways as well maybe you can have may, maybe you might have a better way but those those ways those those uh, tricks will definitely work and you have to practice doing all this so that you don't forget it okay 
Thank you very much, guys. That's all for the, our number problems and simplification. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it with your friends so they too can benefit from this. All the best for your examinations. Keep studying hard and success will be yours. Thank you.